Management for life. The business of being you. Ever wondered what topics can potentially ruin your chances in a job interview? It's a question that can puzzle even the most seasoned professionals. Some topics, while seemingly harmless, can actually torpedo your chances of landing that dream job. We're talking about personal problems, negative experiences with previous employers, premature discussions about salary and benefits, religious or political affiliations, and personal relationships. Today we will help you navigate these tricky waters so you can put your best foot forward. First on the list, avoid discussing personal problems. This is because personal problems can paint an image of instability or lack of focus. For instance, sharing about a recent breakup or financial woes might lead the interviewer to question your ability to concentrate on your work. It's not that they lack sympathy, but their main concern is finding out whether you're the right fit for the job. When the conversation turns personal, try to steer it back to professional matters. For example, if asked about how you handle stress instead of citing personal issues, discuss a work-related situation where you successfully managed stress. Similarly, avoid talking about health concerns unless they directly impact your ability to perform the job. Your potential employer might worry that you'll frequently be absent or unable to meet job demands. Remember, your potential employer is mainly interested in your professional capabilities, not your personal issues. Next, steer clear of dwelling on negative experiences with previous employers. It's a common trap many fall into during interviews, but beware, this can paint you in an unfavorable light. It might be tempting to unload your grievances to lay out all the ways your former boss or colleagues didn't measure up. But remember, an interview isn't a venting session. It's a professional dialogue, and criticizing previous employers can come across as unprofessional, even bitter. Instead, consider this approach. If asked about past challenges, focus on the lessons you've learned and the growth you've experienced. Maybe you've had to adapt to unexpected situations or deal with difficult personalities. Instead of framing these as negatives, highlight them as opportunities that have strengthened your resilience, honed your problem-solving abilities, and shaped you into a better professional. Always keep it positive and professional, focusing on your growth and lessons learned. Another topic to avoid in early stages of the interview is the discussion of salary and benefits. Now, we all know that compensation is a vital factor when considering a job offer. However, bringing it up too soon can be a red flag to potential employers. It might give the impression that your primary motivation is financial gain, rather than a genuine interest in the role or contributing to the company's success. Instead, it's a good idea to wait until later stages of the hiring process to discuss these matters. When the interviewer has had a chance to assess your qualifications and sees your potential value to the organization, that's your cue. You can then confidently bring up the topic in a way that reflects your understanding of your worth and the market value for the role. So remember, patience is key here. Wait for the right moment to discuss compensation. Religion and politics, two topics that have no place in a job interview. These are sensitive subjects, often deeply personal and ripe for potential conflict. Discussing these can create discomfort and even tension in a setting where the focus should be on your professional attributes. Employers aren't interested in your political leanings or religious beliefs. They're looking at your qualifications, your skills, and how well you fit into their organization's culture. It can be easy to slip into discussing these topics, especially if they're integral parts of your identity. But remember, a job interview isn't the venue for this. Your potential employer needs to know how you can contribute to their team, solve problems, and drive success. So, keep the conversation focused on your professional abilities. Remember, your personal beliefs are not relevant to your potential role and responsibilities. Finally, personal relationships are best kept out of the job interview discussion. While it's natural to want to share about our lives, remember that a job interview isn't the right setting for revealing intimate details about your personal relationships. This includes topics like romantic interests, family dynamics, or even close friendships. When you share too much about your personal life, it can come across as unprofessional. It may also raise concerns about your ability to set boundaries in the workplace. Imagine, for instance, mentioning that your spouse works for a competitor. This could raise eyebrows and not in a good way. It's also worth noting that such discussions can divert attention from what really matters, your professional abilities. 
So as you navigate through your job interview, remember to keep the conversation centered on your professional attributes. Show them how you're the right fit for the job. Focus on your professional attributes and how they make you the right fit for the job. So there you have it, the topics to steer clear of during a job interview. From personal problems to negative experiences with previous employers, it's key to maintain a professional demeanor at all times. Remember, the focus should be on your ability to perform the job effectively, not on your personal life or past challenges. Discussing salary and benefits prematurely can be seen as a red flag, signaling that your primary motivation may be financial gain rather than the opportunity to contribute to the organization. It's best to save these discussions for later stages of the hiring process once your qualifications and fit for the role have been assessed. Religious and political affiliations, though integral to your personal identity, have no place in this professional interaction. These sensitive topics can introduce unnecessary bias and conflict, detracting from the focus on your professional qualifications. Finally, personal relationships should remain personal. Sharing details of these relationships during an interview can raise concerns about boundaries and professionalism in the workplace. Your ability to focus on job-related responsibilities without distractions is paramount. To wrap it all up, a job interview is a delicate dance. It's about showcasing your professional skills and abilities, not your personal life or opinions. By avoiding these topics and focusing on what truly matters, your ability to contribute positively to the organization, you're setting yourself up for success. Remember, an interview is an opportunity to showcase your professional skills and abilities. Stick to the script and you'll do just fine. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and send to a friend. Comments are appreciated. Management for life. The business of being you.